ting. Real nice ting on that one. Tree. Black diamond. Bottles. Oh yeah. What is going on everyone? Riddick here and welcome to Off the Shelf Air Guns. You saw the title, you saw the thumbnail. The Umarex Notos. Now, even though I had my reservations after reading the comments, going back to the live chat from that day, and seeing a few videos that have recently come out within the last week, I decided, you know what, the positives outweigh the negatives. We're gonna give it a shot. And so, here we are. Again, just an experiment in uh, community participation, if you will. And uh, yeah, so, seems like a lot of you like that, and a lot of you like the other option as well, you know. Just shut up, buy the guns, and review them. God dang hick, Billy. <laughs> well, there you go. Bought the gun, now I'm gonna review it. This will be my first initial impressions, as usual. And then we'll get into some heavier duty testing down the road. Now, right out of the gate, I am going to say, as you can see, I do not have an optic on it. I did buy the open sights. Your rear, of course, elevation and windage. And your front fiber optic is adjustable for windage. Because they just slide right in and screw down, so you can adjust them back and forth, right? Turns out, what we were saying about all oh, the sights are only for pistol mode, I can understand why some would feel that way, even though Umarex states on their website that, you know, the sights are great when shouldered. So clearly they're implying that you're gonna use this in carbine mode, or use the open sights in carbine mode. And uh, I'll say that when you get it up there, you really do have to kind of get down in it, okay? So just keep that in mind. You will have to, if you have problems with a high comb, you know, no adjustable comb on this, but you do kind of have to get in there. I have to get in there right at, right below my eye to get in there, but nothing I can't handle and nothing I'm not used to. So I can totally see why others would just opt for the optics. However, I do have a scope laying around here that I think would actually be kind of perfect for this. When we do some accuracy testing and we wanted to get out there at long ranges, we will put that scope on here and see what we can get. So, of course, you have your adjustable stock. Really got to push it to get it going there. But you have your adjustable stock. You can kind of set it where you want. And then the safety is on the trigger, much like the Diana CP2. Your tank is not removable, okay? Your tank is not removable like the Hot Sun Jet. You know, it isn't really a big deal because this is a slightly bigger tank than what's on the Hot Sun Jet. So not that big of a deal but it is not removable in case you wanted to know. Over here we have our, our lever here, unlike the Hot Sun Jet, is actually a metal lever. All right, so I do like that. I do like that a lot. Of course, you cannot take it and go to pistol mode easily like the Hot Sun Jet because you have to take out four screws and then you can take this off. It's not that bad, but are you really gonna wanna do that all the time? Probably not. I mean, you have to do it with the Diana Chaser, too, so it's whatever. It's whatever you want, but I'll tell you right now, I'm not so sure you want to use this as a pistol because the moderator up here is not removable. So sit here and use it as a pistol is kind of like ridiculous looking. You know, <laughs> I can't, yeah, you know, it's like pull this thing out of your pants like Joker and Batman, and it's what it feels like. So... Yeah, not going to be using it as pistol, so just going to stay this way, which I'm sure will be the case for most people. The sights I had to buy, obviously, separately. And when, uh, you know, you get them and they're in this tiny little bag and you're just saying to yourself, well, these were only 12 bucks. This is a negative that isn't going to go away. Why not just throw those in the box so that I can just buy the gun and clearly with these sights I can get shooting? I, that's one thing that's not going to go away, and nobody's going to sway me on that. They should have shoot, They should have absolutely just thrown these sights right in the box and included them. That's a negative that's not going away. 
fact that I had to buy these little open sights separately. Shouldn't have to do that. Trigger is uh, a little weird. It's a little loose going back and forth like so. A little loose. No, probably can't see that. Maybe you can, but it wiggles back and forth a little bit. But it doesn't really hamper the shooting experience. It is it is a metal trigger, I do believe. It feels metal anyway. Yeah, it is. And of course, this is uh, adjustable. You can uh, make some adjustments to this and crank up your FPS. You get about 30 shots per fill at optimal power, you know. So, not bad there either. All right, let's get to shooting. Now, it does come with your single shot, 22 caliber tray, and of course your seven shot magazine. Um, don't worry, I know a lot of these magazines look the same, like the Seneca and the, and the Hot Sun and all that, but the Umarex logo is on the side, so you won't get it confused, at least not with that. Also, today we will be using the Crossman Ultra Magnum Premier 14.3 grain dumb pellet. Haven't had these on the channel before. I haven't actually had these at all. So we're going to try them out today. Load up this magazine and we'll be off and rocking and rolling. All right, I'll load it up. Get the magazine in there. Goes in just like all, any other gun with this kind of magazine. Upside. Oh, by the way, when you fill the gun, you do have a probe. It's not mounted to the gun. A lot of people don't like that. They like the foster to be mounted to the gun. I actually kind of like it not mounted to the gun because then it's not just sticking out like... That's one thing about the Hotson Jet 1 that I don't like, but of course is not a problem with the Jet 2. Or if you get the dual tank and turn your Jet 1 into a Jet 2, right? But this is where your foster fitting goes. It's right in here. And you simply turn that out of the way whenever you're done. A lot of people are going to leave it in there because they don't want to lose this, but I'm good at keeping track of everything, and I have little things I put stuff in, so I'll be good. Now, out here we have my little target stand. Is it 10 yards? Target in the tree. The saw blade in the tree is at about 19 yards. Black diamond, 25 yards. And then the bottles and cans hanging down there are 25 yards. All right, here we go. Ooh, yeah, punches it real good. Um, by the way, super, super quiet, to say the least. Like this, if you are worried about backyard plinking, and you don't want to have to buy the extra moderator for the hot sun jet. See, that's an added expense if you're in that situation. So I can understand coming from that side. Absolutely. May want to go with the Umarex no toes on that one. Let's keep going. Going for the one on the tree now. Oh, yeah. Black diamond. All right. Going for the uh, bottles down over the hill. Oh, I missed. Son of a... <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's it. All right. Very accurate. Very, very accurate, other than me, you know, goofing around, missing a couple. Let's load it back up. Do it again. All right, load it back up. Let's do this. Ding! <laughs> Real nice ting on that one. Tree. Black diamond. Bottles. Oh, yeah. Oh, missed. Come on. Ah. 
Nope. <laughs> well, nobody's perfect, right? What do we got? Heck, I shot this one full magazine before I started the video, and we just did two more, and we were only, uh, we're only down to about half, you know, in between the, about the middle of the green area. So, you got a ways to go before you got to worry about filling it again. Which is very nice. I do like that a lot. All right, here we go. Let's do this. All right. Ting. Tree. Black diamond. Now we're going to go down the hill here. Bottles. And I missed. <laughs> Come on. There it is. Come on, buddy. Oh, yeah. Come on. Ah. Whatever. <laughs> We almost did it. There you go. Umarex, no toes. I have a feeling this is gonna perform very well in the accuracy department because just shooting offhand, I'm having no problem with my open sights. <laughs> but when we do the accuracy test and we wanna get out there a little farther, we will throw an optic on it so that we can be sure to give it the fairest chance possible instead of me being ultra hick billy 9000 out here okay so yeah there you go with that said catch you all down the road